Pregame.com. Steve Fezzik, Pregame.tv, breaking down the Monday night football game. Later this week, Vegas runner and Brady Cannon will be coming in, breaking down more football action. The A-team, Marco D'Angelo and his crew, will be taking their bye week, uh, prepping for early bowls. They'll be back next week with their um, take on all of the games. Let's go right to the Monday night game. This past Monday night game broke from tradition. I really liked the uh, the side on the game. Went with the Bears, had a prop, uh, won the prop with the under 44 yards for the longest field goal, and I'm a creature of habit. Win giving it away for free. I think I might start doing that the rest of the year as long as I keep winning that way. And um, hopefully we go ahead and continue. This is a very tricky game. We got Baltimore at Detroit. I've got to tell you, this is not going to be a big bet for me, but I do like a side here. Um, Baltimore is in a tenuous situation where they're seven and six. You look at their schedule, they need this game like blood. They are at Detroit, and after Detroit, they have New England next, and they finish up at Cincinnati. Now, it's possible they catch a break. Maybe the Bengals have everything wrapped up at that point in time, so they might get the spare Bengals, which certainly can help them. But if they look at that schedule, they're going to draw the easy conclusion, we desperately need to win this game, and it's an all-in home run game for them. The problem is, is that they could have looked at their schedule last week when they were going ahead and playing the Cream Puff Vikings and said the same thing, that they absolutely needed that game because of all these other games coming up, and we would have expected them to take care of business early, have blown out the Vikings, and uh, to be able to, to uh, really prepare for this game where they're going to be the underdog instead of the solid favorite. That didn't happen. Uh, condolences to anyone who played under in that game. It's 12-7 to with four minutes to play. NFL record, five touchdowns in the final two minutes and one seconds. The most crazy ending to, to a game that you will ever see. And when the snow had cleared, Baltimore wound up a winner by three points. I'm just shocked that there wasn't like uh, multiple laterals on the last play and Baltimore not get another touchdown and cover as well with all the craziness that occurred. But the fact that they struggled so much against the Vikings and especially a Viking team, I don't think it matters that Ponder was out and Castle was in. What mattered, AP went out fairly early in that game and they made Toby Gerhardt look like the next coming of, a of AP with the way he was running the ball. And Baltimore has problems. They've been much better at home than they've been on the road. But, of course, their opponent, the Detroit Lions, well, they have trouble as well. You look at their performance. Uh, they lose at Pittsburgh. They lose at home against Tampa Bay. And they get Green Bay without Aaron Rodgers. And then finally, um, so they play great on Thanksgiving. But then they go ahead and they have another bad game where they lose at Philadelphia. Um, Megatron gets turned into a human snowman as he gets pounded into the six-inch uh, snow accumulation after a catch in the first quarter. Add it all up, and it sure looks like the spread is too high. It is six points right now, and the look ahead line on this was four, so it has gone from four to six points. Um, and what has really happened in the last week, certainly that would mean I should be favoring Baltimore in this game. However, I'm taking a slightly different take on this, and I'm going to go contrarian, and I'm going to wind up looking at the favorite in this game. So we're going with the Detroit Lions. We're going to lay the five and a half to six points on this game. And why am I doing this? Well, I really think Detroit and Baltimore both have home road dichotomies, especially Detroit. I'm going to give Detroit a pass. I, have, I actually think Detroit is a contender and Baltimore is a complete fraud. And people say, how can they be a container, contender the way they lost it when they went to Pennsylvania and they lost to Pittsburgh and they, went, and they lost to Philadelphia? Well, they lost to Pittsburgh in the driving rainstorm, and they had three turnovers in the game, and that's why ultimately they dropped the game. And then they played, of course, in the Arctic conditions in Philadelphia with all the snow, and they were the better team to start the game, and they absolutely got blown away in the second half. But again, weather-related. When they went ahead and were home in the Dome against Tampa Bay, they outgained Tampa Bay by 170 yards. They were fooled by Tampa Bay, who was surging and playing much better, had the five turnovers, and, and that ultimately did them in. The bottom line is Detroit, you look at their stats, they're a flaky team. you got to worry about them on the road. They're a terrible, bad weather condition team. But when they are at home in their Dome in the game they need, and they need this one desperately, they bring it just like they did against Green Bay. I think we are going to see... Detroit finally put a full game together, and Baltimore is going to be in deep, deep trouble in their bad role on the road here. 
So Monday night football going with the Detroit Lions. I uh, wish my cohorts were here, but like I said, we had to do split duty with all the games. One thing to be very aware of, favorites just went 14-1 straight up and had a very good against the spread record this past week in the NFL. What does that mean? Everyone who was betting those favorites got back their money. The books got destroyed on money line parlays. You're going to see a lot of pressure in the betting marketplaces on all the spreads going up, moving higher, because people are going to continue to bet on those favorites, knowing just bet the team that's favored and you get the money. So any dogs that you're thinking about betting this week, I would hold off, wait until game day approaches. If you like a favorite, I'd get down now. I think you'll only see those numbers inflate. So that's my betting tip of the week here with uh, week 15 in the NFL. Good luck to everyone and stay tuned here at pregame.tv. Coming up next, later in the week, we will have Brady Cannon, Vegas runner, breaking it all down in the NFL. Thanks for joining us at pregame.tv.